Yo guys, welcome back to the swamp. It's the Funky Frog Gamers on Maximo here, bringing you episode three of New Super Mario Bros. for the DS. <laughs> All right, so you have to see the title screen again. But in this episode, we are actually going to be taking on the first part of World Number Two. Now, in last episode, if you haven't checked it out, I suggest checking the playlist on the channel for both the last episode and the first episode ever anyways in the last episode i stated that i don't do I, my least favorite kinds of levels are water levels and okay and desert levels so we will see how this goes um but actually i realized that i have a fire flower so this might oh dang it never mind I was gonna say this is gonna be easier than I expected, but oh my goodness, dude, my speedrunning skills are too good for this. There we go. Oh! I spoke too soon. All right, <laughs> first fail of the episode. I was going smoothly. I just overshot it a bit, dang. I don't even have my fire flower anymore, that's a shame. We gotta wait for this guy to pass. Dang. Then right here, we wait for this right there, beautiful. Okay, excuse me, hello. And then, here's the second one. Makes perfect sense. Done beautifully. There we go. Dang, I was so close to the to the midway point when I died the first time. That is just unfair. Oh my goodness, be careful here. So in the first episode, not in the first episode, in the last episode before this one, I stated how how this is one of my least favorite kinds of levels because like the Lockheed tube the guy that throws just like death on you all the time from his cloud I'm thinking he's like one of them prophecies oh my gosh this is the end of the oh yeah there we, we got the three I didn't even notice I didn't even think we got the three star coins we made it this will hopefully Alright, there we go, beautiful, slide down that pole, <laughs> and with that we have completed the first world, I mean the first level of world 2, what am I talking about, alright, let's go with the lucky block 2, lucky block status, anyways, yeah, um, so we will see, I may, okay, if I do, Good thing I was invincible for a second there. No! So dumb. I'll wait for it to come to me. Mm. Are you serious? Dude, this is so fun. Oh, this is where my least favorite guy ever comes. This man is just terrible. He drops bombs of death. I hate this guy. He absolutely kills me every time. I just gotta speed through because he drops these spiky balls of death onto me all the time. Look at this. Now I can't even do anything. He's blocking like. Ow! Dude! I'm gonna die now. Please! Save me. There we go. No! That's not even fair. One of these... Oh! Dang, I hate this guy. Alright, we got this. 
And with this, we go up here and follow this coin trail. There we go. There's this star coin, and it's gonna disappear. This cloud's gonna disappear pretty soon, so I'm just gonna try flying as far as I can. Oh my goodness, I thought that almost dropped me to death. Alright, we got the first star coin. I know where the other two are. If I can just make it to the... There we go. There we go. And then let's just go straight up here. Let's just take this scenic route. Just use this cloud that we hopped on. Oh, that doesn't even work. Oh, yes, it does. And let's just get this third star coin. Finally, that took so many attempts. I apologize. Oh, my God. The key to getting three star coins this level is having the fire flower. If you do not have it, you are basically done. Because that's the main thing you need. Excuse me. Alright. Let's go. And with that, we have completed World 2-2. And now we gotta go on to the other ones. Let's keep going. Alright guys, let's continue on to World 2-3. And let's see how we do. Alright. Oh yeah. Sick. Alright. There we go. And that is the first star coin. Alright, anyways. This is one of my favorite things, is the shell. Because, okay. The shell power-up is one of my favorite, because... Oh my god. Because it gives you protection from all of the... Things that are trying to hurt you. So it's, it's very good shield sometimes so uh continuing from the talk of last episode um dealing with finals so i've finally finished finals which is amazing and that means the school is now over for us yes guys expect some oh well, that's not what i wanted to do um, yes, there we go, oh snap, anyways, expect some really awesome things to come in the future, some new content since we are finally finished school and actually can spend more time on this, on our series, and on the channel itself, so that's really good news. So yes, we will be able to spend more time on on our series devoting to the channel, which is some really awesome stuff. Um, oh my goodness. We gotta get that just right. If you don't know what I'm trying to do, um, there's this switch and it's timed so that you can hit the other switch that's up here. There we go. There we go. So that the water can continue flooding just for a little second. And yes, this is actually a secret area. Awesome. Anyways. So as I was saying, um, school is now over, which is awesome, but at the same time, this week I actually have some company over. Oh boy, another water level. We'll get to that after we get the third star coin and the normal exit. So, um...
for like for a bit i actually didn't know if this video was going to come out because you know there it is the third star coin because you know i had to spend time with them so i couldn't just you know take time out of like their experience just to do a video for myself it'd be kind of rude but yeah i got this video out on time so that's very good um so i guess the question or topic of this video is actually um where do you guys like to go like where do you travel to on summer vacation because i would love to know and you know keeping in the topic of all this stuff it would be really cool to know so yeah if you guys could share that with me in the comment section below i would love to hear where you would like to take a vacation to it doesn't have to be necessarily where you are going maybe just where you would like to go either way i would really like to know so we have finally cleared world 2-3 getting the secret exit and the three star coins we have unlocked this water world so i guess we're gonna have to do that and jeez world 2 is very extensive that's what i've noticed i like the music in this world I might just have to shut up for a bit. <laughs> I might just have to kind of be quiet for a bit. Oh, we gotta watch out for this guy. So I might just want to stop talking for a bit so you guys can hear this lovely music. Because honestly, it's really peaceful. Anyways, yeah, I just really like this music. It's super peaceful. It's super tropical, which I absolutely love. Um, by the way, guys, I do cut out all of the failure, like the miserable failures. So you don't have to have to like bear through all of it while I'm doing it. Because it is a 100%ed playthrough. Which doesn't mean that I have to do perfectly well. But it does mean that I do have to, in the long run, have everything 100% completed. Also, this world does have a secret level. So after this, I'll go back and get the normal thing. And there we go, we have another cannon. So after we get this normal exit of this world, I will show you that in one second. Alright guys, we have completed world 2-A with the normal thing. And now we have two ways to go. We actually have a pipe, as well as a cannon. So let's take the cannon first and see where it takes us and as you can see that cannon also took us to world 5 if you remember in the last episode I actually unlocked world dash five in world one using another cannon in that world and as i said in that time we are not going to be doing world five until we actually reach it not through a cannon but like by actually completing the other worlds before it and then let's see what happens if we take this pipe we can get a shortcut straight to the castle however that's not what we're going to be doing because we still have a few more worlds to go to actually make it there this video will probably involve a lot of cutting since it's a super long video all right there we 
go. Let us go. Well, that ended quickly. There we go. I don't know how I'm going to get out of this one. Okay. If there's a few silent parts, I apologize because I need to concentrate for some points in this. And it's kind of hard to do the commentary as well, but. Anyways. As I was talking about way earlier. Oh, I think you actually need a small mushroom for this. Um, as I was talking about earlier, my favorite. Okay, so to get the second star coin, you actually have to go down here, under that way, take this underground passage, which actually has no importance other than a transition to the room in which you have to get your thing, the star coin. I actually have to pass all the way over here, cop that coin, and then go back. Yeah, cop that coin. That's all, that's amazing actually. From now on, I just if I remember, I just want to say cop that coin every time I get it because jeez. Because jeez is that an awesome saying? Are you serious? Mm, there we go. It's a much longer world than oh my god. Ah uh, ah uh. Please. There we go. It's a much longer world than World 1. And it just takes a long time to get all of it complete. Anyways, I'm not going to complain. Because it is summer, as I said earlier. And we got all those star coins. So I'm happy. I could not be happier. Alright, let's continue on to World 2 Dash Tower. And we have this nice shell. And let's get all them star coins. Oh, yes, sir. There we go. That did nothing because I have a shell which is like far superior. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, jeez. Actually, in this world, is the first to introduce this, like, this rope thing that you can kind of.
pull yourself on. Which I thought was really cool. But actually, if you go over here. And then did that. And you go over here. There's an extremely hard way to get a coin over here. Mm, 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 mm. No. One mess up and you just start all the way back down. Hopefully this works. Oh, it's actually a lot better. Alright. Then you jump up here. Wait for it to come back. And then you actually, when it comes back, you do this. And then you jump. And then there's another one. And I recommend using this this mini mushroom because it makes it a lot easier to jump. Just to let you guys know. Um, I will go back and get the other ones later. But as of now, this one works. I just needed to get that middle one because that one is definitely by far the hardest one. There we go. And then you gotta be super careful. And then there's the third one. And we will go back and get the first one. Just keep going across this wire thing. And then we get this. Oh, snap. No! Oh. Well, that worked out perfectly, actually. Because to find that one, you actually have to drop down there. If I didn't do that, I would have forgotten. <laughs> Wow. Okay, then you just go up here. And then go through this pipe. And then with a bit more, you will eventually get to the boss. And I am going to use my flower right here. So that I don't die at the boss. Because this place has no checkpoints. And the flower is definitely a good power up to use when fighting Mini Bowser. There we go. And we have now completed World 2 Dash Tower. Alright, guys, so we have completed World 2 Dash Tower along with all of these star coins in that. And we have done the first half of the world too so we've completed all of this 100 percent and let it and in the next episode we will actually be continuing on and finishing up the rest of world two so i hope you really enjoyed watching this episode if you did please hit the like button comment consider subscribing check out the playlist on the channel and stay tuned for more videos coming out shortly please enter the topic of the day which was uh, if you could go anywhere for summer vacation, where would you go and why? If you comment that in, in the section below, I'd be really happy to talk about it in the next episode. Anyways, that is all, and we hope to see you next time at the Swamp.